And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Good Monday afternoon, everyone. Hopefully you're all doing well. I am meteorologist Sheldon Brashear is taking a look at what we are expecting for the rest of our day today and what to expect moving forward as we are expecting some thunderstorm activity today, but maybe few and far between. I think the main point of our day track forecast here is talking about how great these temperatures look, how winds stay nice and calm. We always like to see that. Our daytime high here in Amarillo will hit sometime between about 3 and 5 o'clock. We'll be seeing those daytime highs hit up around 71 today this afternoon. We might see some 80s off towards the east while mid to low 70s and maybe some 60s off towards the uh, western ends of the area today. But let's talk about our next weather maker. Some storms and showers in the forecast. Your severe weather risk for your Monday is just a thunderstorm risk, but it's area wide. So you'll see most of the area under some sort of threat of possible severe weather, but very light and you'll notice it's not even on our scale, but still severe weather is going to be possible. Tomorrow we see a marginal risk just barely clip part of the region. Another thing we're seeing is a flood warning for Amarillo, Hereford and Canyon. Now it's not actively raining at the time of recording, but what we are anticipating is if any rain pops up, what we will be seeing are flooding conditions there in the central part of the Texas Panhandle. This is in effect until Friday of this week, so this is going to be a long lasting event. That's all the way until the 9th of June. Pretty crazy stuff. Looking at your high definition model run here, starting to see maybe around 2 o'clock, we start to see some little pop up showers and storms off in the west. And then after that, by 6 o'clock, what we see are just scattered little isolated storms here and there. It's not going to be a big organized system that pushes through the area. It's going to be from very little spotty little showers and thunderstorms here and there. Could be severe. What we're going to be anticipating is the possibility of some flash flooding, of course, with the flood warnings and heavy rain possible and already saturated ground flush flooding is a very prominent threat. Well, we'll also be seeing some strong winds and if we see enough what we call boundary collisions, we could see severe weather very similar to what we saw this past weekend. Little small, very weak land spout tornadoes. There was a confirmed tornado that did touch down Saturday evening in Amarillo at 85 mile an hour wind. Still did some damage. Don't get me wrong. They are still dangerous, but it's not like we're expecting any strong tornadic supercells. What we might see are these small, weak little uh, tornadoes that can pop up, but should be short lasting and not very strong, but still possible. So keep it locked here to News Channel 10 for the latest on that. We'll be pretty quiet in the overnight period going into your Tuesday morning. Just more cloudy skies expected, and then we'll see more pop up showers and thunderstorms for your Tuesday afternoon with more kind of robust activity off towards the west going late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. So looking at your next five days here of rain chances. So today a little more robust. We kind of trim down tomorrow. We pick it back up by Wednesday, but Thursday and Friday you'll notice we kind of ramp down just a little bit. We might start to enter somewhat of a drier period, at least for Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday as you head on into the weekend as daytime highs eventually climb back up into the 80s.